You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. You've spent your life trying to widen it. Your work saved the lives of thousands. What if I told you that reality is one of many? There are other ways to save lives. So much you don't know. What's up guys, how you doing? I'm here to talk about Doctor Strange. I saw this on opening night and just straight out the gate, it's fucking awesome. Scott Derrickson directed this and of course stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Rachel McAdams, Mads Mikkelsen, and a whole other host of stars. And the story is a bit more of an unusual one in the sense that, you know, Marvel have kind of stuck within their wheelhouse for a lot of their films. Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, they had stepped out of it a little bit and saw how successful that was. And then I think that probably gave them the confidence to go ahead with something like Doctor Strange, which is a far lesser known property, unless you're a huge comic book fan, which I'm not really, but I'm a huge Marvel films fan. And so I was really keen to see what they could do with this because I didn't know much about the story itself, didn't know much about the character, but I love Benedict Cumberbatch, he's awesome. Scott Derrickson, I mean, he's actually been more into the sort of horror game the last few years. He's directed Sinister, Deliver Us From Evil, but also back in the day he did uh, the Keanu Reeves movie, The Day The Earth Stood Still, which was kind of universally panned by critics and audiences, but I actually really like that film. Anyway, Doctor Strange. This film's an interesting one because they have so much that they have to get through because they have to get through the origin story whilst also having to blend it into the world of the Avengers and that shared universe. I'm actually really surprised that this film was not a fucking mess because in the wrong hands, this thing probably could have been a disaster, but there are some sequences in this that are mind blowing. When you're dealing with magic and space and interdimensional beings, there's just so much cool stuff to explore and they just did a really awesome job. Every character seems like they get just the right amount of development or backstory or motivation that they need. Everything just is really well serviced. Now, the visual spectacle, I could just imagine them in the pre-production meetings like trying to figure out how these certain big set pieces would look. And I'm pretty sure that Christopher Nolan and Inception are owed a lot of credit. Pre-production, like, okay, so how are we gonna make this thing look? Inception. Okay, well, what's it gonna look like when they do this in the building? Inception. Just always think Inception, that's it. So even though they did seem to borrow heavily from the visual and stylistic choices that Nolan had in Inception, you know, they still made it their own. The action scenes in this are really riveting. And even though sort of style of it you may have seen in other films, the scope of it and scale of it, and the fact that you can follow along and that it makes sense and it's engaging, it's like, wow. How the fuck did they pull this off? Benedict Cumberbatch, man, he is a big score for this film. And here he plays the titular character of Dr. Stephen Strange. He's egotistical, yet the way that he's played, he's kind of endearing and somewhat charming as well. Rachel McAdams, she's great in this. Sort of somewhat love interest slash co-worker. It's a bit iffy, they don't really go into it too much in this one because they just had too much other stuff to get to. So the villain in this is played by Mads Mikkelsen. He does get the proper sort of motivations to, for you to understand why he's doing what he's doing. I would say maybe he wasn't as fleshed out as I would have liked him to be, but I take what I can get. So the way that Scott Derrickson handles the action scenes is really well done. I mean, he's not done a film of this kind of scale before. Some of the sequences are really impressive. And I saw this in IMAX 3D. And if you are into 3D and there's an IMAX where you are, I seriously recommend that you see it in that format because it was amazing. Also, there's quite a bit of comedy in this film, but it's not in your face comedy. It's kind of nice, subtle comedy. And I felt like it played really well. 
If you haven't been a fan of Marvel films in the past or superhero films in general, you know, maybe this one might be enough to draw you in because it's different enough from the base of Marvel films that have come before it. The cast alone should be enough to get you through the door. It's a little bit different with elements that are familiar, but is enough to separate itself from the pack. I want to give this one a four out of five. I was just really impressed. I mean, a lot of times lately when I've come out of films, I have to let it sit for a while to sort of see how I feel about it. But this time, pretty much as soon as the credits rolled, I was like, I'm on board with this. I was loving it the whole way through. So get out and see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Bened like I'll see anything that Benedict, Benedict I mean, I'll see anything that Benedict, oh my God.